Hi there, men. Let's take a look at this new set of essays. Here we go. Uh, money on art, but people think they should spend money on other things. Here's what you said. The amount of money invested on art has been on the rise in many countries over the past decade. Some people argue that governments are expected to spend money on other areas, such as healthcare and infrastructure. Careful with your spelling of this word, and it should be singular, instead of art. Instead is one word. In my view, the benefits that art can bring to people's lives are invaluable and should be acknowledged. This essay will use empirical studies from China to demonstrate points and support arguments. Okay, good. There, no, it has been suggested that government should spend money on the healthcare and infrastructure development as they are the basic needs for citizens. It is obvious that, good health, that a good health care system and infrastructure, like efficient public transport, could improve the convenience of, of the individual's life. When you say the individual, you're basically talking about all individuals. I know, it's counterintuitive, but that's how it works. Uh, however, people should not forget that the desire for a good material life is only a part of a human's life. Um, here you needed a semicolon, not a comma. The spiritual and emotional demands also play significant roles in the improvement of one's, we don't say life quality, we say quality of life. According to the empirical studies by the Chinese government, citizens in Beijing who like to attend with a D, art activities are often more satisfied with their lives. Thus, government should invest money on the improvement of art venues, which will allow more people to enjoy the happiness of arts and benefit their quality of life. All right. Um, I want to see how you develop the rest of this essay before I kind of give you my feedback about that paragraph. So, there is ample evidence to suggest that the development of art mostly relies on the financial support of governments. This is due to the fact that most art galleries and theaters are hardly to make profits. That's awkward. Um, they hardly make profits, okay? Most galleries and theaters hardly make profits as there are um not limited number well there are limited number there are limited audiences essentially uh who are able to afford to watch performances frequently if governments can invest more money on the promotion and development of art activities such as organizing free concerts and art festivals the public will get access to appreciate the beauty of arts and enrich their lives moreover many independent artists s will definitely with an i uh gain benefits from government's investment on art as they can focus on the creation and not worry, is what you should have written here, about the market and make compromises. I don't know what you mean, what market? Uh, as a result, there will be more masterworks, there will be more masterworks created, without the B, to inspire and influence the public. To conclude, even though governments have a responsibility to meet the basic needs in healthcare and city infrastructure, it can be seen that the development of art cannot only enrich people's lives, cannot is one word, but also make them live happier and healthier. Therefore, governments are encouraged to invest money on art. Okay, so I read this again, and I am okay with the development. Um, I was a little concerned about this paragraph, but reading it uh, all through again, it's fine. Um, I, I like the way you developed it. You did a good job. Um, there were some problems with your grammar, some areas that were a little awkward, okay, some um, silly little grammar mistakes um, are, are here and there, but that's pretty much it. I thought it was well written. It was an interesting um, essay, so good job. Uh, structure was fine. Vocabulary was fine. Like I said, just some little silly mistakes like instead here, cannot here, and then things like definite that was spelled wrong, right? Where was that? That was somewhere there. Yeah, um, here. So little things like that, but nothing too, too, too serious. Okay, so let's take a look at your letter. Uh, okay, dear sir or madam, I'm writing in relation to my recent purchase of a computer in your store with a T. Two weeks ago, I bought a computer that was recommended by your colleague. Upon buying with a UY, this product, I was assured that if there was any problem, I would be attended to promptly. Unfortunately, this was not the case. We don't start sentences with but. All right. Yeah, I know you probably see it on the internet and you know in informal kinds of publications, but we don't actually do it. Um, it's grammatically considered incorrect. 
after after I was using after no this is grammatically wrong so after using this computer for one week the screen blacked out here you needed to have two words blacked ed out unexpectedly I restarted the computer but there was no reaction without the any I reflected I reflected I reviewed maybe oh, I reflected well no you have to reflect upon but that doesn't really sound quite natural here I think I reviewed would have been the best word here. So I reviewed how I operated the computer and I am pretty sure that I did not do anything to it improperly. Anything should be one word. This week I tried with a T to contact the after sale line twice without the four, but there was no, no, but, but no one answered the phone. Get rid of this. To be honest, I am very disappointed. Careful, you need an A here about the quality of your product and service. Therefore, I would like to ask for a full refund. I have sent you the computer with original packing and receipt. Please transfer the refund to me as soon as possible. I'm looking forward to your reply. Yours faithfully, Mary Lowe. Let's see, did you cover it all? Yes, yes, and yes, so fine. The problems that I found here again were not in terms of content. So in terms of task achievement, coherence and cohesion, you're doing fine, um, appropriate, no problems. Uh, grammatically and in spelling, there are some errors. Okay, so those are the things I really want to focus on and um, take efforts to correct. Okay, so go ahead and do that. I know you've got a couple more essays with us, so get started on them and uh, let's see how you do. Okay, good luck.